hello dear students now we will derive an expression for radius of nth orbit of hydrogen atom using uh, bohr's theory we will uh, consider an electron which is uh, revolving in nth orbit of hydrogen atom say this is the nucleus say the charge of the nucleus is plus ze because in nucleus there are only protons are there protons are positively charged so z stands for atomic number let us suppose that one electron of mass me is uh, revolving around the nucleus in some orbit n say the radius of the orbit radius of this nth orbit let it be rn and the velocity let it be vn okay now uh, for the electron to stay in the orbit okay now we will uh, think about this electron okay on the electron one force which is acting is electrostatic force of attraction since uh, nucleus is positively charged and electron is negatively charged so between them there is an attraction so there is one electrostatic force of attraction okay between the electron and the nucleus okay that electrostatic force of attraction is in this direction towards the center of the nucleus and since the electron is revolving in a circular path there we there is one uh, centrifugal reaction which is acting in this direction that is uh, f is equal to m v square divided by r okay if the force of attraction is more then what happens electron will slowly fall into the nucleus if this centripetal force is more magnitude of centripetal force is more then what happens electron will escape slowly okay so what should happen is the magnitude of electrostatic force of attraction should be equal to mv square by r only then it will not fly off and it will not fall into the nucleus so therefore the condition for the electron to revolve around the nucleus okay is electrostatic force of attraction should be equal to centripetal force electrostatic force of attraction should be equal to centripetal force okay let me write the expression for electrostatic force of attraction that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into q1 q2 divided by r square what is q1 q1 is ze q2 is this is electron charge of the electron is minus e okay so ze into e okay divided by r square ze into e divided by r square that is equal to centripetal force so what is the expression for centripetal force centripetal force is equal to mv square divided by r let me simplify this uh, equation a little bit so that uh, i'll write an equ equation for see this r and r gets cancelled okay r and r gets cancelled so what happens i can write mv square is equal to okay or i can write mv square r see mv square r mv square r is equal to ze e square ze e into e is ze d square divided by 4 pi epsilon not mv square r is equal to z d square divided by 4 pi epsilon not let me name this uh, equation as equation number 1 now how to use this bohr's theory okay according to bohr's second postulate the angular momentum of the electron which is revolving around the or revolving around the nucleus should be equal to integral multiple of h by 2 pi so according to bohr's second postulate angular momentum mv r okay mv means momentum linear momentum into r angular momentum mv r is equal to okay nh divided by 2 pi mv r is equal to nh divided by 2 pi i will name this as equation number 2 okay now what we will do now see we need an equation for uh, r so what we'll do i'll substitute for v okay i'll write an equation for v from this equation this equation 2 implies okay v equal to okay v equal to nh divided by 2 pi 
into m into r, m and r goes to the denominator. So, v is equal to n h divided by 2 pi m r. So, this is the equation for v. This value of v I am going to substitute here. So, that I will get an equation for r in terms of n because n is required in the equation of r. Say for example, directly here from this equation 1 itself I can write an equation for r, but in that equation you see n is not there. We know that there are different orbits n is equal to 1, 2, 3. So, n should come in the equation. Therefore, what I will do? I will use Bohr's second postulate. I will write an equation for v and that value of v I will substitute here. So, <coughs> what we will do? I will write that equation uh, once again m v square r is equal to z e square divided by 4 4 pi epsilon naught. So, this was our uh, equation number 1 and what, what was the uh, what was equation number what is the equation for v? v is equal to n h divided by 2 pi m r. Hope you can uh, remember see this was our equation number 1 m v square r is equal to z d square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and the expression for v is equal to n h divided by 2 pi m r we are using those two. Okay. I am substituting the value of v here. So, what happens m into okay, v square this is v square it. So, what happens n square h square divided by 4 pi square m square r square into this r. So, I have substituted v okay, v square I have did I have done. So, this is equal to z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. Now, what happens this m and this m gets cancelled then uh, okay, 1 r gets cancelled here right. This 4 pi also gets cancelled 4 pi also gets cancelled. So, we will uh, write the equation to get some clarity I will write it once again n square h square divided by pi m r pi m r is equal to z e square divided by epsilon naught. Now, what I will do? I will shift this r here and I will bring that z e square divided by epsilon naught to LHS. So, what happens? This implies this implies r is equal to this r will come here. Here what remains? n square h square divided by pi m n square h square divided by pi m. So, divided by divided by z e square by epsilon naught or multiplied by epsilon naught divided by z e square. So, what happens? So, radius of the electron in the nth orbit r n is equal to n square h square epsilon naught divided by pi m z e square. So, this is the equation for radius of the electron in the nth orbit of hydrogen atom. Now, what we will do for hydrogen? So, hi here I will write okay, for hydrogen okay, for hydrogen z is equal to 1 atomic number is 1. So, what happens r n is equal to n square h square epsilon naught divided by pi m e square pi m e square. Now, depending on the value of n, n can be 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, you, we will get different value for radii of electron. So, this is the equation for hydrogen atom. So, in general we can remember for the entrance examination point of view we can remember radius of the electron in the nth orbit is directly proportional to n square okay, for hydrogen atom or in general you can also remember if it is hydrogen like atom what do you mean by hydrogen like atom? If in an atom there is only one electron say for example, helium see in helium there are two protons, two neutrons and two electrons. If you remove one electron that means, if you have singly ionized helium okay, then it is a single electron system Bohr's theory is applicable to single electron system in such cases R n is uh, directly proportional to n square divided by z. So, you have to uh, remember these two things also which is 
uh, which will be useful for uh, entrance examinations. Now, uh, see how we have done it. What we have done is electrostatic force of attraction is equal to centripetal force. If the electrostatic force of attraction is more, then the electron will fall into the nucleus. If the centripetal force is more, then the electron will escape. If the electron has to revolve around the nucleus, then what should happen? Electrostatic force of attraction should be equal to centripetal force. So, we have equated the two, we have written the equation for electrostatic force. Okay. We wrote one equation, we considered uh, Bohr's second postulate. From this, we have written one equation for V and that equation for V, we substituted in equation number 1. Because in equation number 1 itself directly I can write an equation for R, R equal to some equation I can write, but in that equation N will not be there. Okay. We should write a general equation wherein you have to, you can calculate equation of radius or the value of radius for N is equal to 1, 2 and so on. So, therefore, N should come in the equation, therefore, we substituted the value of V using Bohr's second postulate and we got the answer R N equal to N square h square epsilon naught divided by pi m z d square for hydrogen. For hydrogen value of z is equal to 1, okay. the atomic number is equal to 1. So, that z term will go okay. and in general we know that radius is directly proportional to square of the orbit number, radius is directly, radius is inversely proportional to atomic number. 